Definitely you can do this problem using some extreme trigonometry, but is it the best way to solve this problem or other easier ways? One of the things that you should do when trying to solve geometry problems is do you need to do backward analysis of the problem. So maybe if you do the backward analysis of the problem, maybe you don't even have to solve the problem. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of how to do the backward analysis of this problem. However, first let's uh, try to do try to solve the problem in the usual way. Okay, first, what you can do with this problem is uh, the most straightforward approach is to do some extreme trigonometry, as I said. So just find this angle 75 here and then set these sides to be equal to one some number and then do some cosine theorem and sine theorem, right? So uh, I'll uh, what I'm going to do is to solve the problem as usual without using any trigonometry. And then I'll show you a second way of solving this problem, which is much easier. Okay, what's the problem? So let's take a look at the problem. It's a, you're given this square. So the problem starts with this square. And we want to prove that this a triangle is an equilateral triangle. And we know that here we have two 15 degree angles, this one and this one. So we want to prove the equilateral triangle ADP. So Basically, we can try to find one of the angles or prove that this side, so since we know that one of the sides here, AD, is equal to the sides of the square, we can try to prove that this is equal to this one. Okay, so the first way is this. So what I'm going to do is probably, uh, I'll take this triangle. So this is uh, some rotation, the some transformation approach. So I'll take this triangle, so put it here. Uh, I'll copy, make exact copy of the, this triangle uh, to here. Because this side, this side is same because we have a square and this side and this side, it doesn't matter where you put, so you can keep rotating. So I'll put it somewhere here. And what does that give us? So some that will give us some angles, so equal equal sides, segments, congruent segments. So this one, this one, this, this, these four segments are equal. And this angle is 60 degrees because 15 here, 15, totally it should be 90 degrees. So we come up that this is 60 degrees. And then uh, what happens if you connect these to K and P? Try to compute the side angles of B, K, P. So these are all 60s because we have 60 here and it's an isosceles triangle. So the, the other two angles should be equal and that's 60 and 60. So we have equilateral triangle over here. Also, it's easy to compute this angle because of 15, 15 and 150. So Now uh, we can do the measure of this angle because we need 360 degrees on the circle. So that should be 150 as well because 150 on 50, 360, right? So that with this 150 degrees and this to be isosceles, you, you see that this is also 15 degree, 15 degree here, 15 here, 15 here. What does this give us? It gives us uh, the sides, the segments AB and AP are equal. That's because we have 60, we had 60 here and 60 here. So that's a total 75 and 75. So that makes it A, so this A, B, P to be uh, isos an isosceles triangle. So these two sides are congruent same length. So you can do the same kind of uh, approach, same kind of argumentation to prove that these two sides are congruent as well. So that gives us this side is equal to side of a square. And this is also 
side of square and this was initially one side of the square so these all three sides of the triangle ADP are equal to each other that makes it an equilateral triangle now let's try a different approach for this problem so the approach is going to be like this instead of jumping immediately to solve the problem let's try to analyze what is happening in this problem so you have a square we want to prove some equilateral triangle so let's try to do some kind of um, analysis of the problem imagine the square and draw an equilateral triangle instead of having this point p just draw another so like ignore the givens just take the triangle the square and draw this equilateral triangle inside so that's t it's this is a different point not the point p we had so we had the these three sides equal and then this is a square so what does this give us so let's connect these two let's connect t with b and c and then uh, compute some find some angles so we have 30 degrees over here since the this is a collate uh, isosceles triangle we have 75 and 75 uh, the same way exactly same way we have 75s over here and that gives us 215 degrees here right so now go back to the problem so uh, if you try to so like in a given in any given square if you try to draw 15 degree like this and 15 degree like here how many different possible intersections are there there is only one possible right so you have you have one line other line there is only one possible intersection so this point turns out to be intersection of 15 degree angle from B and 15 degree angle from C. So that gives me that gives me that the point so here we can do a very simple conclusion. It turns out that point P is equal to point T, which means the triangle ADT ATD so this triangle here by definition we had this atd by definition to be equilateral triangle so this is an equilateral and what can you say about the triangle apd since this is equilateral this has to be equilateral as well because these points they are same so when we did this analysis of the problem it turns out that you don't even have to solve it because the uniqueness of this point p and t already gives you that the triangle apd is an is an equilateral triangle